So it's been three months since tragedy struck at UNLV when a gunman opened fire, killing three professors and injuring a fourth inside a beam hall. Yeah, now the president of the university is really touting the resilience of the community there, the staff and the students, and how they're moving forward on their road to recovery. News 3's Georgia Costa is live at UNLV with the changes the university is planning to make the campus safer. Well, you know, the officials say while many have since returned to campus, what happened on December 6 has changed the overall culture of the school, and they say that they're aiming to change that with these new changes. The students are not part of our institution right now, and we need to make them back feel comfortable, feel safe. In his State of the University address on Tuesday, President Whitfield recognized a life on UNLV's campus is not what it once was prior to December 6. We're not there yet, but we're not doing bad. And I honestly believe that it's because we've come together as a community. That is our strength. University officials say right now the main priority for UNLV to move forward is to ensure students, staff, and anyone who may be on campus feel safe. We cannot, cannot, under any circumstances, open the doors in the fall and not have made significant and obvious improvements that help the safety of our faculty, staff, and students. Since the shooting, President Whitfield says the university has increased its security enforcement to have a stronger police presence on campus. However, President Whitfield says the university is ensuring what occurred on December 6 won't happen again. We are not going to let that define us. It is going to be something that makes this campus better in the lives of our students, in the lives of our faculty and staff. President Whitfield says that the university will be turning to technology to implement several improved safety and security measures across campus. Our technology in terms of uh, video cameras that can actually be able to detect guns. And so we're looking into that, ways in which we can lock and unlock doors remotely. There's, there's lots of things that we're going to explore to find ways to make our campus more secure. As for Beam Hall, President Whitfield says that the university was already envisioning plans for a new business school prior to December 6. However, now the president says it's all up in the air. We'll be talking to the faculty and staff who work there, um, trying to figure out what we're going to do in terms of trying to bring it back online. But there's still a lot of work to do. There's, there's a lot of work in terms of even some of the infrastructure at BEH just to make sure that we get it to a place where we can think that it's a, a, it's a safe place. Nonetheless, whenever that day comes, President Whitfield says he remains hopeful for the future of UNLV and their road to recovery. We're only th really three months since that incident. And we have to take the philosophy that we're really going to have it so that we leave no rebel behind. Everybody's going to come with us as we move forward in the future and that we're successful. And honestly, we'll be able to do that by working together. Now, President Whitfield also touched on the fourth UNLV shooting victim, saying that they have since been released from the hospital but are still recovering from their injuries. But for now, reporting live at UNLV, Georgia Costa News 3.